Hey everyone, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we are going to learn how we can create a polygon inside our Google map. Let's see the demo first. This is a polygon that we have drawn inside our map. And after this demo, let's start the complete video and learn another feature of the Google map. Let's continue the today's video. This is the polyline that we have drawn in our previous tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to draw a polygon. Everyone knows that the differences between polyline and polygon. Polyline is state or curve line. Polygon is the shape that is maybe rectangular, triangular or different shapes. For that, we have created the separate file for this. I give the name Google map polygon and create a stateful widget. First, we have display the Google map in our polygon screen that I have copied from this polyline screen. First, I have copied this my location and marker from here and paste it. After this, I have also copied the, this Google map from here. In every video, there is no meaning to give the lots of time to set up the map and I will define this inside our main, main file. Google map polygon. Let's save it and see. After the Google map integration is complete, let's start for the code to draw a poly, polygon. I'll confuse in between polyline and polygon. First, Let's create the controller for this. A complete object is used to control the Google map controller asynchronously. Let's define the final keyboard and here is the complete completer. And inside this, we have used the Google map controller and I'll give its name to completer and equal to completer. This controller is provided by Google map and we have already initialized the empty marker. The main important things is we set the polygon first or set the set is used to hold the polygon on the map using hatch set for better performance with unique items. And I'll give it the name polygon and hatch set. I make you clear every part of this line how is it work a set in that is the collection of unique item it is useful when you wants to ensure that all item in the collection are unique a set collection type is typically used when you wants to perform an operation like adding removing and checking we have added the set of points that's why we use this set here and polygon is the type provided by the Google map flutter you everyone knows that and this is the name there is no doubt about this and this has said is a specific implementation of the set interface in that it is optimized for performance and ensure that the item in the set are unique and as said use a hatching algorithm to store and retrieve the items and after this as said let's define the one list and i'll give this list name to points and we we'll define the one area inside this list we have stored the point that we are going to draw for that i'll also instruct you how you can collect the list of point in the google map you can choose any location that you have wants to draw a polygon i'll choose this location is near my area and here is the stadium and this is my university and if you double click on any point here you can get the latitude and longitude copy this from and paste it here i have already collected the list of point to consume the time and only one things you need to keep in your mind to draw a polygon the first point in your polygon and the la the last point in your polygon must be same after that only the polygon is draw otherwise it's look like one line after you have collected this all the point let's we define the one method to add a polygon to the set of polygons. The polygon is created using the defined point that we have collect just before that. And inside this method, that is the polygon dot add function. Inside this, there is the polygon and we need to give an ID. You can give any unique ID inside this. 
and here is the point parameter we will connect this point with this point here is the stroke color the color of the polygon border you can give any color that you have like and the width of this border by default its width is too much you can see this is 10 i feel that this is too much and i'll give to the 4 and the fill color inside this polygon which color do you do you want to fill i'll choose the color green inside the fill color i have choose the green color and and i have also set the opacity to 0.1 and here is geodesic by default it is false we need to make it true it's indicate whether the polygon should follow the earth curvature or not after we have added all this point inside the polygon and we have initialized this just we define this function inside the init state and our task is completed inside this google map here is polygon parameter and we'll define its polygon that we have created and one last thing is on map create function this is the void function it is used to complete the google map controller once the map is created after this all let's save it and restart our app and let's try to zoom it you can see we have successfully draw a polygon inside our google map you can change this border color you can change this fill color as far as your requirement by this way you can easily draw a polygon inside your google map and okay that's it for today's video we'll come with more feature of google map in upcoming video keep watching and keep supporting bye bye